Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be a Star Wars The Old Republic update. I wasn't able to play the game yesterday, that's why I'm still level 16, which is a bummer. For some reason, I had to re-download the entire game client. I have no idea why. I tried everything. Didn't work. I played the game yesterday just fine. Or two days ago, just fine. Had no problems, but when I tried to log back on, I had to start re-downloading the entire game. I, I don't know what it was. Makes no sense to me, but I just took the day off, hung out with some friends. And did something else, but I'm going to be playing this game pretty hardcore until Christmas Eve, then I'm going to do the whole family thing, and then come back right after Christmas, 24-7 Star Wars, you, you know the drill. But, these are some quick little tips and quick little things I found so far playing. <clears throat> um, first of all, passive sprint. Basically what you do is you just cut your sprint on, there's a little button right there, I'm not sure if you can see it, I'm highlighting over the sprint button. You just click that or hit your keybind, and you hit the button, and that will enable sprint. And it's passive, so as soon as you leave combat, it's boom, you're sprinting. So that's really nice, that's a definite big improvement from the beta where you had to keep reactivating it, reactivating it which really sucked. Um, next up, the uh, stealth, stealth also has that. It's a little button you hit, then you're in stealth. <clears throat> that one doesn't constantly reactivate itself, which is good because that would be really annoying. But it's the, uh, the same little functionality with the button. Next thing that I found kind of annoying is you still can't use Caps Lock to target the nearest enemy like you could in WoW. For some reason, I don't know, that just annoys me because I always use Caps Lock to target the nearest enemy, which is a bitch. Um, next up, something I found extremely helpful, go to Preferences, and I believe it's under Controls, Auto Loot on Right Click. Turn that on, I don't know anyone that wouldn't want that to have turned on. And this one is amazing, Enable Area Loot. If you kill five mobs, and you loot one of them, it's going to loot all five of them, which is amazing, if they're in, if they're in this, this specific area. So it's basically like AoE loot. It's amazing, turn it on, it's awesome, it saves a lot of time. Uh, next up is the camera. This is, uh, let me see, where is it at? I think it, maybe it's under controls. Yeah, there it is. Camera distance. <clears throat> I recommend you turning it to 30 or more. I felt that the camera distance was very short. And I'm not someone that likes to play really far back from my character, but I think 30 is the, the perfect spot for me. Uh, and also, this is a big one. Camera rotation speed. I'm sure a lot of you guys, when you first got on the game, your camera was rotating like crazy and you were just spinning around in circles. And your camera rotation speed was only on 4%. You were like, what the fuck? For some reason, the camera rotation speed is very sensitive in this game. So I recommend like 2%, you can maybe turn it up a little higher if you want to turn really quick, but I thought 2% was the most comfortable for me. I play on a pretty high DPI on my mouse, so that could be why, but I, I, I like 2%. Um, other than that, level 13, this is what my talents are looking like so far. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty cool stuff, just 3 in Duplicity, 2 in Dark Embrace. Uh, my pets... I got uh, two VR8 and Kimball. I have all of my skills are roughly the same: 53 archaeology, 58 scavenging, 53 treasure hunting. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, I have only put about 20 hours. I know I've already put 20 hours in this game, and it's just out. <laughs> and I only played for one one day. <laughs> that's just ooh, that's sad. But I will definitely have a lot of play time in this game. But other than that, uh, level 16, leveling up, this is my starship, I just got this, which is pretty cool, I'll actually take you for a quick little tour in the, uh, the starship of awesome. Alright, this is inside the starship, pretty awesome stuff, for sure. Uh, you have your own bank in here, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of this is just fluff, there's not really any functionality to it yet, I think there, you do, your, your starship does get more functionality when you level up, because I see like escape pods that I can't use yet. I have to be like higher level. It's, you can't use that yet. This is where the magic happens. Oh yeah. But I do think the starship is pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be something that was pretty gay. And I mean, it's not really a big thing that I'm like, oh my god, starship! And this is where you actually sit down and, and go to different galaxies. I'll just show you the screen real quick. That's where you fly and travel and do all that stuff. I actually haven't done that yet, but that's where you do it. And what's over here? I think this is where Kim Ball is. No. Was I just over here? What the fuck? I think I just went over here. Yeah, I did. But anyway, Starship. It's cool. It's awesome. It's over here. Same shit. Yeah, okay, you guys get the you guys get the gist. Um 
pretty fun stuff. So, hope you guys are enjoying Star Wars The Old Republic. This is a w little one-shot update character progression thing. I might do one of these once a day or twice a day, depending on how much I progress and what I figure out. But I am going to be giving you guys little uh, little tips and stuff. I do recommend that with your companions, you just go ahead and start getting your skills up. That's what I'm doing. I haven't found that I need my companion for that many uh, that many quests to help me fight. So I've just been having him do little slave errands and stuff. But um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this little one-shot update. And I will see you guys later. Peace.